Fort Fest a party. It's gonna be a party. Yuri Polozov, who is running for State House in New Hampshire, posts this to Facebook. Quote, I didn't agree with a speeding ticket, so I was made to pay a charitable donation, but I'm feeling very good about donating to NH Children's Scholarship Fund. NH scholarshipfund.org Thank you for giving New Hampshire children the gift of education. Oh, that's actually, that quote comes from the, the website. Uh, that's the end of Yuri's quote. So someone responding to him says, quote, instead of getting robbed by the government, you helped the kid avoid government indoctrination. Fracking! Love it! Unquote. Now, I don't know exactly what the NH Children's Scholarship Fund is. I've never heard it of it before nh.scholarshipfund.org uh maybe that's the descendant of the liberty scholarship fund or maybe it's something separate for a while the free staters were running and, and local liber- liberty activists were running a thing called the the uh liberty scholarship fund i think but i haven't heard much from that or about it for a while but this is a really important and useful technique. You know, you don't, if you're attacked by the government, you don't, you have a lot of different options for how you're going to react. You don't necessarily have to do civil disobedience or act up in the courtroom or go on a bulldozer rampage against empty cop cars. You can just focus on making sure that you're not funding the bad guys or rewarding their uh, highway uh, predatory behavior. What I tried doing back in 2009 when I got a traffic ticket was I, I just I called up the prosecutor, uh, the, the, the state cop in charge who was in charge of the state cop that pulled me over. And fortuitously, I just happened to already know him anyway. And I offered to do 10 hours of community service rather than the five hours that would have been required and uh, the, what I chose to do was the uh, litter pickup in Grafton along the highway, the state highway. It was all actually really kind of a positive experience. I'm sure it left a positive impression on the, the, uh, the highway bureaucrat who I was helping and on the state uh, police guy who I was negotiating with. It did not help the government in any negative way. You know, for instance, it didn't help the government hurt anybody. And it made the road look better. I got some exercise. And some ticks. But other than that, it was a good deal. Please consider doing something like this. You know, community service as opposed to paying fines. But now you can do it for... You can do your community service for liberty libertarian organizations now. There is one in, in uh, Keene uh, that has been a sponsor on my show, basically... Uh, or the people in it have, and that's the sh- thing called the Shire Free Church. Now, I sort of scoffed at this a bit myself when it first came on the scene, but they're becoming establishment now, and you can list them as the people you want to do your community service for. So you're doing community service practically for the descendants of Free Keen. And the government, you know, as time goes by, they're going to, it would seem like, you know, as they become more established that uh, they would continue to allow this. It's way better than funding the war on drugs or something. Ridley out. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.